Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vive once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can replace any screen by using Mocha and Nuke. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, my Mocha is ready and I'm going over here and in new project, I'm going to import my footage and this will be my footage for today, right? Apart from that, I'm going to change my location. Probably I'll go over here and I will go here and I'll type Mocha track YT. Let's select the folder and I'm going to hit OK. So this will be my footage and if I'm going to play, if you can see, I am having a good amount of reflection and everybody knows that we face lots of problem where we are having reflections because it's changing very rapidly, either a reflection or shadows or any moving element, right? So today we are going to see how we are going to track these kind of footages if we have, right? So yes, what else I'm going to do? I'm going over here and first thing first, I need to draw a shape around it, right? So here I am having my X-Spline tool and I'm going over here and probably I will draw a shape around it. And if needed, hit right click to create your shape and I'm going to fix it like this. So I'm okay with this shape, but major problem we are going to face where I'm having my reflection. So what we need to do, we need to exclude those reflections before tracking. So how I can do that? Uh, again, I'm going over here in view and in mat, I'm going to start overlay. And if we are going to click over here and hold, you will find multiple tools as well, right? So I'm going to use this tool where I'm having a plus sign. What it will do, it will basically add shape in existing shape, right? So I'm going over here and probably I will do this. And as I'm going to draw my shape, you can easily see I am getting my reflection excluded like this. So I will hold a Z and right click and I will do this. I hope this will work for me. And now I'm going to hit track forward. So let's track it. Okay, so now as I can see my tracking is almost done and it's looking pretty solid to me, right? What I can do next, I will go over here and I will switch on this button which is show planar surface and I'm going to switch on my grid. So let's arrange our grid so that I can export that data. So I'm going to zoom it little and make sure you should be on frame number first where you have uh, drawn our first shape, right? So I'm going over here and probably I'll put this like this. So let me do that. Okay, so now I can see my plane is set now and it's going with my movement, right? So you have to make sure you have to subtract your reflection. And once you feel that it's working fine for you, what you have to do, just you have to go to export track. And yes, we have to export as a new corner pin. If you want to save it, you can save it. Or if you want to copy to clipboard, you can do it. Already I made a detailed video on uh, this. So I'll recommend to check that video. So I'm going to copy to clipboard and let's jump to Nuke. Okay, so I'm here in Nuke and as you can see, I have my footage and I have my element which I want to replace. So first thing first, I'm going over here and control V and you can see I'm having my corner pin 2D layer, right? So I am going to remove this green screen and it's pretty simple. You can denoise it if needed. Uh, I'm not going to do that because already I made several videos on that and I'm going to use my key light note, right? And I'm going to connect this. Also, I'm going over here and I'm going to choose picker and I'm going to hold on Alt, Control, Shift, click and drag. If I'm going over here, you can easily see I am having good result, but I'm not having the best result, right? So also I can go to my screen mat and probably I'll try to fix it. But I'm not going to do this 
because my edges will be pretty sharp and I don't want that, right? So let me check alpha one more time. And I think I'm doing pretty good. Again, I can fix this in, in some time, right? So I think this is done and probably what I'll do, I'll go over here and I'll take a roto node and I can do it in multiple way. Like I can take a grade node and I can do the solid alpha kind of stuff, but uh, I can do this. It's pretty simple. Like I have to animate a roto like this. If needed, I can So yeah, so this is done. And again, I'm going over here and I'm going to take a node called channel merge. I'll connect it over here and I'll merge my channels, right? So this is my alpha and you can see I'm having my reflections, but uh, I'm not going to take care about reflections in this because I am going to do it anyway. So probably I can do a little cleanup kind of thing. It's coming. It's all okay, right? Again, I'm going to take a dot node over here and also I'm going to take a copy node, right? Because I want to copy alpha over here like this, right? And also I'm going to take a node called pre mult The basic keying fundamental I'm following like this. To fix it, what I can do, I can take a node called key light again or I can use any kind of de-spelling uh, tools which already I have discussed, I'm going to put one. So what will happen? I'm having my actual pixels over here. And now best thing is if I'm going to use this as a background and use this as a foreground, it won't work like that, right? So what I have to do, I have to roto each and everything, right? So first thing first, I'm going to connect my corner pin 2D over here. And as you can see, it's not matching, right? So I'm going to take a note called reformat. So I'll reformat it. And if I'm going to see now it's working pretty fine. Tracking is working pretty fine, right? And if I'm going to see through it, you have to see, you have to fix it, right? So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it as a foreground and use this as a background. Shift X to swap inputs and now if you can see it's working fine but it's rotated right so i'm going to take a node after reformat and i'm going to rotate it like this probably 90 degree yeah now it's too big so i'm going to scale it down and let's fix it first right so it's pretty simple for me i have to make sure if something is going off, it's all okay. You can do scaling and you can fix it. I'm leaving it up to you. But for first sight, if I'm going to see, it's all working fine. Can you see that? It's all working fine for me, right? Okay. Now few things I have to fix again, like I'm getting edges over here. So if needed, I can take another key light and I can probably do a soft king kind of stuff. So let me show it to you how I can do that. So I'll take another key light and I'll connect over here and I will do a soft keying and I can take a key mix like this, connect this and take a roto node by hitting O on keyboard and just mask it whatever you want like this right and I'm going to see now so if I'm going to see it's little fixed now right although we are going to fix it in in another way right okay now two three things I am filling it's off first thing first the white balance is not matching because it's looking too white right second uh, I need to restore reflections third I need to restore the luminance value. Like if I am seeing this luminance and comparing with this, I'm having a drastic change. Why this is coming? Because if I'm going to show, I am having green spill over here, over here, over here, right? So I need to fix it. Let's do that now. So again, I'm going over here and let's fix again uh, what you have to do you have to roto this thing to retain green because uh, tree is green 
you can see and if i'm doing despeeling it's getting affected so you have to rotate it out and just you have to restore it so i'm not going to do that probably you will do it right so again what i'm going to do over here i'm going to take a merge node and i'm going to connect b and a and i'm going to do this and mode will be difference i'll have i'll have green only and i'm going to take a node called saturation and in saturation i'm going to desaturate it and take a merge again and i'm going to plus it so what will happen after plusing it i am having my luminance back like this right now let's match white because again i don't have any reference for white because my screen is green but i'm feeling like this is more white than his shirt so probably i will match this thing with shirts white because it's in same scene and it will gel up nicely right so i'm going to take a node called grade over here and in grade i'm going to disable it and i'm going to lower it down probably like this and my white point will be my target and my gain will be my reference and if i'm going to enable it you can easily see now my white is matching with the scenes white right and if i'm going to do this now i can say it's matching with my environment right next thing i'm going to do i'm going to fix my reflections so it's pretty simple i'm going over here and you can do it in several way i'm going to use key light one more time so i'll use key light and i'm going over here and i'm going to take a single pixels around it so you can see i'm having my reflections only and i need this much area so what i can do either i can make a mask like uh, this and i can add it to tracking right so let me do that let me take a merge node and let me mask it and i am going over here to plus it or over it it's all up to you so now you can easily see i am having my reflections back but now i have to fix my roto so i am going to copy same corner pin i'll add it over here but as i'm going to add you can easily see it's getting disturbed so i'll go over here and i will do this from copy to and if i'm going it's not animating so what i'll do i'll go over here and one by one i'll do no animation no animation no animation and no animation now i can see it's moving or it's working fine for me and if i'm going to see this it's all working fine can you see that so by doing this much you can do this and if i'm going to see now you can easily see my whites are match my reflections are back and it's all working pretty fine now to fix this edge if you can see i am having a uh, little edges over here so probably what i'll do i will fix it over here i can take a key light one more time and i'll go over here and probably i'll make some space over here i am going to put one and let's take a key mix node right connect it take a roto let's take a mask just key mix it so it might possible you you will ask what's happening it's it's all dark again right now it's fixed or if needed i can take my alpha bias and probably i'll pick similar pixels now my edges are all fixed and i'll do some tweaking and automatically you can see my edges are all fixed it's little more coming but i can usually and if i'm going to compare voila right little i need to work on uh, this thing so uh, you can see yes it's working pretty fine for me and i hope this video will help you to understand uh, how we can track surface where reflection is coming how you can preserve your reflection and how you can replace things right so i hope this video will help you to understand the process in a better way and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said 
This is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.